let's see. We should have audio, we should have captions. Yo, what's up, Beach? Sorry. Right. I'm just waiting for delay. That looks great, sounds good. Any complaints, any questions? Any problemas? I un problema. No tengo el tiempo. All right, so we got Japche, we got Pork Tonkatsu tonight. Um, both are fairly quick and easy. Um, just made dinner? Hell yeah. Um, all right, any requests on what we do first? I'm okay with you. at all times because life always trying to fuck me. There you go, clip that one. There's your winner. Alright, so what do we want to start with? Do we want to chop Che first? Do we want to pork tonkatsu? Cue the Jeopardy quiz bed music. Well, I fucking, that's why I'm asking, Haseo. Come on. Tenkatsu? Alright, Tenkatsu's easy. Tenkatsu's super easy. Alright. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash up some knives first. Tenkatsu, uh, I know you sent me a recipe, but I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't need it. Like, Tenkatsu is some of the dummiest shit out there. One knife. Hey, Bubba, where'd we move the breadcrumbs to? That's not helpful. Okay, you're gonna get yourself some panko breadcrumbs, which are right here. You're gonna get yourself some egg. Okay. Thanks, guy. Um, you can spend the time making your own katsu sauce, or you can do the smart thing and just buy this. Well, it looks like my wife used all of this, so. Here it is, Kikoman makes a great one. It's basically like a tangy barbecue sauce. Water, apple, sugar, vinegar, soy sauce, tomato paste, onion, color, spice, garlic powder, it's basically for all intents and purposes, barbecue sauce plus soy sauce. Very simple. Next thing you're going to need is some egg. I will need these later for jump che as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is, of course, I've locked myself out of the most important mixing dish. So we're just going to use regular bowls. Get that ready. This ready. Haven't made any tea. It'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to make four of these bad motherfuckers. You say four? Well, you only have two. Basically, I just treat this like, um, I pretty much treat this in the same way that one would treat like chicken parm or any sort of other fried thing. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do a baked version of this because it's, to be honest, it's shit. Um, I do a wonderful baked chicken parm. Yeah, personally, like the amount of time you're going to put into making that sauce is just not worth it. Okay, so what we have here is pork loin. You can pretty much use whatever. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to butterfly this, and it should be pretty easy. Um, these are thick, meaty boys. So it really doesn't matter to me in particular, like, how perfect this is, because they're all going to get fucking squashed anyway. So work your way through it. Uh, when I butterfly, I basically just put the weight down and bring the knife through. You're gonna cut through this direction because obviously if you're cutting towards yourself, when it inevitably breaks loose, you will slice your fucking fingers open. So, claw. Basically get yourself in halfway. 
work your way through it. Press down, make sure your blade stays perpendicular to the cutting board, and you should end up with two eh, pretty fucking even slices. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Next thing you want to do, sanitary-wise, uh, I don't do this all the time, but because we're cooking and people are watching, we'll do this the safe and sanitary way. I know, I just washed my fucking hands and touched raw meat, fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can. You definitely can. It takes a little bit of work, but it's definitely doable. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some plastic wrap here. Holy dog shit. Sad state of affairs. It's like a fucking dialogue on my life there. What in the absolute Tom fuckery is this? All right. Anyway, that's gonna be fucking good enough. I should have just used fucking parchment paper at this point. I'm gonna bring these bad boys in here because I didn't didn't really cut enough. Um, and then what you are going to do is you're gonna take something nice and heavy. Um, like a cast iron pan. Why cast iron? Because it doesn't have nuts or bolts in it. You can just fucking smash the shit out of shit with it. Just like this bad boy right the fuck here. And give it the old fucking one too. Now we put the plastic wrap on it to prevent, you know, the whole fact that we're smashing meat so it doesn't spray fucking meat juice everywhere. Um, you just want to make sure everything is nice and consistently flat. If you don't want to be a subhuman about it, you can just fucking put it heavy on there and push. Not a big deal. Whatever. So those are now, like, basically nice and uniform. Uh, they're also now a bit tenderized. Uh, but they have also pretty much doubled in size. They are flimsy bad boys now. Easy peasy. Yeah, they make hammers for that. You can use a rolling pin to roll over them. Um... Buy me one. I don't know fucking what to tell you. All right, next simple trick here is we're gonna take an egg, flat surface, bingo bango. It's pretty much all we need there. Yeah, that one should. Be. All right. While we're talking about it, I am going to get a pan. Adjust my fishnets and grab a pan. Oh wow, Mark, thank you so much for complimenting me on my outfit. I do think I look great. Thanks. What? Alright, so down here I should have this. Just regular old fry oil. You can use whatever oil you kind of want, really, in my opinion. I don't get too banged up about it. Peanut oil provides the best flavor, but it, you know, has a pretty fucking low smoke point. Uh, I'm not going to totally deep fry these. I'm a big fan of the flip. Uh, so you can control the finish and the texture a little bit better that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting some heat into that. <sighs> Take our egg here. Beat the shit out of it. And I'm going to get another bowl here for the panko. All right, important little tip I've learned over the years to get the correct texture. That is unopened. That is unopened. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the panko in here. And then painstakingly going to get my hands wet. If you have a mister, it's great. Just mist some moisture onto the panko, and what it's going to do is it's going to start getting all these little tiny crumbs to be bigger and chunkier. I'm going to start shaking it up a little bit. You can see you have a lot of small boys right in the center there. There we go. It's starting to get bigger. Start, they're starting to collect. Alright, so now we wait for that to get fucked up. Any questions so far? I do have a Twitch apron, you cannot buy it. What's up, Angel? Look, if I know something about smashing the meat juice everywhere, I am very good at that. Right, Baba? 
Exactly. Shelby says, oh my god, yes. See, I told you I look super cute. I uh, borrowed one of Shelby's little cat things. Thigh straps. But yeah, I got new shorts in too, so. Alright, well I guess one thing I can do is I can just throw that in there. <laughs> It'll be a simple egg wash batter. Um, I'd also like to introduce a method that I believe um, Babish uses a lot. It's a method I prescribe by. It's called wet hand, dry hand. Uh, you keep one hand for your wet stuff and one hand for your dry stuff so you don't end up looking mummified in your uh, cooking solutions. All right, this is definitely not hot enough yet. Nah, I don't fucking bother. You want to make everything better, Sharky? With Asian food? Ready? MSG. MSG. You you want sad baby? Use M... No. MSG. MSG. Fucking MSG. I don't know why people are so... Like, that was such a racist thing in the 90s. Oh, MSG, it's bad for you. MSG isn't bad. It's monosodium glutamate. It's naturally occurring compound. <laughs> Just put MSG everywhere. Fuck it, it'll taste so much better. Trust. Shout out to Celador providing music for tonight. All right, if you're super worried ever about, is my oil correct? Normally I just look at it and see how fluid it is. You can hover a hand over it. Um, the easy way to tell, just like get a little bit of water on your fingertips, very carefully shake some drops in. If it pops up, your oil's hot enough. Get to work. So that's pretty close. Not 100% not there yet, but it's pretty fucking close. Uh, I am going to make myself another cup of tea. Uh, I, I do have some, some lychee uh, fermented black tea, so I'll probably make some of that really quick. Need more water. High efficiency faucets are a fucking lie. The only reason they're high efficiency is because it fucking takes so long to get any water out of them, you give up halfway through and decide you just don't need it anymore. Shit makes my balls hurt. You gonna, you gonna focus, camera? No, 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 come here, come here. I have a secret for you. Double check our oil really quick. Now the next thing you're also gonna wanna have on standby and this is true for basically anything that you deep fry or fry in a pan that's really fatty. So I just get like a, a couple of paper plates and some paper towels. You want to soak up that excess grease, otherwise shit gets soggy and sand. Also, mashing technique, practice. Absolutely. 
You know what's the crazy part? Like, the concept of American air conditioning is like 30 years behind everywhere else in the world. It's a fucking joke, dude. I hate this country. Okay, so that's making the <laughs> noises. Alright, looks like we're good. Alright, wet hand. Yeah, that's great. That's very, very good. Dribble, 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 dribble. Couldn't use my dry hand. My dry hand! Uh, let's make sure this is nice and coated here. All right, and then we are going to talk shit on Chef Ramsay, but at the same time, uh, he does have a very good point when it comes to safety in the kitchen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put in and we're gonna lay away very gently and away from us. Got our wet hand. Water pocket in there. They were nice and coated, but you don't want to overdo it, so I always give like a little wiggle. And then down and away. I'm just going to very closely monitor these, and I'll probably flip them more than I need to. That's okay. It allows me to take control over exactly, you know how, uh, you know, how done they are. Obviously you want it cooked through, but you don't want them burnt. Again, down and away. I left room for myself up at the top. I can wash my hands and be done with this sticky mess. Um, next we'll probably, once this stuff gets processed, we'll uh, start getting stuff ready for the Jap Che, uh, which is a lot of chopping and marinating. So hopefully I'll be able to very gently move the camera and get inside to my mixing bowls. Perfect, all right. For one reason or another, I fucking can't use my current phone for the OBS plugin. Uh, I am at six out of high. Next thing you're gonna want are handy dandy tongs. See if I can zoom us in a bit here. I don't know if y'all be able to do that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start gently scooping oil over the top. This will also help some of the breading to stick early. So when I flip it, it doesn't all fucking ride off. Just very, very gently. Right, I'm going to look for the edges here. On this side, I'm already starting to see a little bit of gold. I'm going to very gingerly grab this and flip it. It is nowhere near done. It is way too light. This starting to get there. But we're going to take our time. If you do have iron fingers like me, you've been in the kitchen, you can touch the hot oil, you know, just fucking do your thing. Just take your time. If you're hesitant, always go low and slow. I'm going to flip that one a little early. It's a little bit meatier than the other boys. But so far, we're looking great. Now I'll zoom us back out. Out. It's not peanut oil, it's canola. I don't use peanut oil. Too many people with allergies. Also, that shit expensive as fuck, bro. For what it is, In the meantime, I can also just kind of dump this shit. 
you're like, oh, you need to use egg for japchae? No, there was raw pork in that, so that's gotta fucking go. Scrub out this bowl really quick so I can reuse it, though, because I'm gonna need a bunch of marinating bowls. We'll need an, another regular size pan, too. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at these. Probably need some flippy dippies. That guy's not quite ready yet. This guy's refusing to, to brown up. So now that these, these should definitely be done, like, done-wise, like, cooked through. Bring a little bit more heat into the equation. Now it's just getting the correct color. Gonna kind of keep basting them with oil so they can keep a nice temperature here. And also the, the oil is gonna cook the top a bit as well. So we're not sitting here all fucking in, you know? Just be gentle, don't be fucking little Richard splish splash, I was taking a bath. Just be careful where you're splashing. This is the splash zone, Gary. I have one that's like the perfect color, but only on one side. There we go. We're starting to get there. Get that side needs some love. You'll also tell that it's kind of like the right texture, because it'll go from soft and soggy to like, you'll feel it, kind of scrapey and grainy. the beef on that last. Oh no, piece of seasoning down. Breading down, bro, breading down. But is there still music playing? Okay, I just can't hear it. Freya Stinky. She did not give me any kisses today. Alright, this one is definitely done. It's the right color. Onto the plate she fucking goes. This bad boy, also. Spelling correct. Also, done. That's the color I'm talking about. Done. You're fucking done. Pat the top dry, or press if you're an animal like me, and mildly immune to heat. All right, I'll bring them up close for y'all, and then uh, slice and dice. So, they should look just like that. Look at that. Look at it! Fucking delicious. You want that in your mouth hole. All right. So this pork is cooked. I'm gonna let it rest for a second. I forgot I was making tea. Ah, I'm gonna get that going. If y'all don't know me and how much tea I drink, 
I normally buy tea in this amount. Like, by the pound. By the gallon. This is a lychee kongu, uh, courtesy of the head nut. Shout outs to our other tea sponsor, uh, nerdtees.ca out of Canada. They provide me with Monk's Blend and uh, Lime Gelato. These two are fucking wicked good. Okay. Next move is I'm just going to take one of these bad boys. Slice her up. You hungry for some tonkatsu, baba? Okay. Why don't you come get it? Now, thinly slice. To be honest, you should just be able to push right through it. There should be no slicing motion needed. Just press down nice and firmly. Oh, Jesus. Probably could have let this one rest another minute or two. This portion's for me. We'll get you a nice finished product shot. stuff and then throwing it into a marinade for a couple of minutes and then cutting more stuff and throwing it into a mar marinade yeah it's 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 really simple it's obviously not the healthiest because you're taking a, a slice of pork and then coating it and then deep frying it and then smothering it in a sauce but uh, it's always a good treat. Uh, generally pairs with just plain white rice, and then I hit it with like uh, the rice seasoning, the, um, not umeboshi, um, futakake. Shit slaps. Now it takes your plain ass white rice from zero to hero mad quick. Okay, Bubbers, if I send you a recipe, can you help me with it? back up up they go I'll eat this then we'll work on the job chai What's it taste like? 
fried pork and barbecue sauce. Anyway, this is the sound you want to hear. I don't know if that came through, but you want it to be nice and crispy crunchy. Bless you, Freya. I guess we can do the veggies first, and I'll do the beef last. I forgot to bring my tea drainer strainer over. Did you grab that for me off my desk? Because I'm an incapable fucking moron. Should be. But the little the little teacup. Yeah, it's a fucking you know me. Yeah, I know. Nomenclatural errors. Much like our confusion about garters earlier today. Not really, that doesn't strain. Uh, it holds my strainer. Alright, so I gotta get you a recipe! Or you can just block the recipe and tell me what you need to cut it. Yeah, I know, but I'm also really close to go. Okay, so the things we will need. You want to start yoinking them. Uh, we will need noodles we already have. Ribeyes out. Carrot. I skipped the spinach. I'm sorry. I don't need more fiber in my diet. We have an entire thing of cabbage. Nah, yeah, we'll cook right. Um, must you want it? Make uh. it work. Um, a quarter of a bell pepper. You could probably use half. We love peppers. And an onion. Do you want the mushrooms? Do you want to skip the mushrooms? I'm indifferent to mushrooms. Yeah, are we doing mushrooms or no? They're there, they're there. If they're not, they're not. How much onion? A half a board. All these are going to be julienned. I can peel and scrub the carrots. Right, one for mushroom. I need a knife. Uh, alright. I'll show we'll shoot one. Really? Angel's the only one that's gonna fucking vote on this shit? Is your mask Yeah, for a second. So I was eating and vaping. Gotta cool down in between dishes. Do we want mushrooms or no? Because if we do, I have to start rehydrating. Just do them. We never have a use it reason to use them. Okay. Alright, kids, I'm gonna teach you the art of reconstitution. So, hidden deep in the crevasses of my kitchen, I carry around this bag. It is mysterious. It smells delicious. 
And if you breathe in too deeply, you might be teleported to a different land. No, just kidding. These are shiitake mushrooms. Buy them dried. Uh, literally, what you can do is pour boiling water on these, and congratulations, you have a nice mushroom soup. Um, so what I am going to do, however, is grab a handful of these, and I'm just going to basically soak them in some fucking warm water for a little bit. So, you know, undry them. But these are great, especially for soups and shit like that. Yeah. If you notice, the water's already starting to turn a little bit kind of brownish and murky. Which is good. These are going to get nice and soft. So then all of these are going to marinate and shit, which is going to be a little bit weird. So I'm just going to let these sit for a little bit. Um, How long do they last? They're dry, dude. As long as you keep them dry and like sealed like that, pretty, pretty indefinitely. What? Uh, probably like a year or two. Look, they're mushrooms. You, you can immediately smell when a mushroom is not edible. At least I can, because it goes from like, eh, it smells kind of funky to, oh, that fucking smells. Make a reconstitution saving throw. All right. Okay, Google, roll 1d20. Hey, Google, you dumb fuck. Roll 1d20. Eleven. Probably not great. Um, but to be fair, I have a plus zero to my con mob. Oh, you need me to scrape it real quick? All right, I have to I have to clean my carrot. Uh, it's always good to wash the length of your carrot. Make sure it's nice and clean. You want to get in the grooves. Bubba, would you like to help me scrub my carrot really quick? If your if your eyebrows could go up any further, they'd fly off your fucking head right now. Anyway, let's give it a good scrub. Uh, carrots, you know, just because of their shape, they can contain dirt and bullshit in them. Um, the peeler is right here. You can just use a standard fucking peeler on these bad boys. So I'm just going to scrape her down. No one likes a dirty carrot, Mark. Examine my carrot. Looks good. No, I don't. I just think it's funny. Bubba, that's it. What's up, Jamie? Look, my pants are still on. I don't know what to tell you. Alright. Give these mushrooms a squeeze. They're still a little hard. Little, um, when mushrooms are reconstituted, they'll be nice and soft. Uh, I have a bit of this, which is actually woody. Like, it's it's soaked and it's not retaining any, like it's, it's, there's no hope for it. I'm gonna peel it off. you notice it's really stiff, just cronky. This will be great in the broth because eventually when you boil it down it'll get soft, but like reconstituting, it's just not fucking worth it. The stems tend to get a little woody. This one's also pretty fucking gnarly.
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say I belong to no one except my wife. Be very careful. Sharky, you have jurisdiction in these parts. Get rid of it. See, this is why we can't have nice things anymore. I actually get out my scissors and start trimming these. Also, it does not go unnoticed, but a great pair of kitchen shears is fabulous. A good, a good pair of scissors in the kitchen can help you break down an entire bird. It can help you with odd jobs like this where you Honestly, using a knife for this is terrifying because the texture, everything's kind of slimy and slippery. You don't really want to bring a knife into this party. There you go. Thanks, beautiful. I'm covered in tattoos. They're my personality. All right, so I did mention earlier that the water's gonna get a little brown. Looks like dehydrated pee or tea at this point. I'm gonna give these another minute or two to soak and then I'm gonna have to start setting up my marinade stations. What? Mark making himself Yeah. Shelby says she's gonna fight you in the fucking parking lot, Mark. You better get ready to fucking run them pockets. She's gonna steal your lunch money and she says you got a yee ass haircut. I don't know what Mark's haircut is. I don't know, I bet it's yee ass though. Anador, why are you stepping all over my back? Crying, solid. Back over by your table. You already got treats, bingus. All right, I'm gonna split these boys. They are starting to get nice and soft. I don't think it was a rando. It's just Mark. Yeah, it's just Mark. It's just, it's just Mark having a fucking sexuality crisis again. Am I gay or European? Well, neither, really. Both technically? Both technically, but neither really. No, all we need is Willow in here to just start commenting on some bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you, Andor. Yeah, probably. It's par for the course. I think it's funny. Daddy blocked the fucking closet with the dishes. I don't know how to tell you. Alright. Alright. So, that should be good to go. I'm gonna check. So, I have to make some sort of marinade, but all the marinades are different. check my notes. I'm going to skip the beef for now. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to get the marinade ready for the fucking 
Uh, noodles and mushroom. This is going to be interesting, so bear with me. All right. Okay, ah, oh, dude, perfect. These are pre-cut. Excellent. I'm, you know what, I'm gonna fucking risk it and put this in something bigger. Give me one minute. So four tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm basically just gonna coat them. All right, it does say honey. I'm too lazy for that. So I do have laying back here somewhere. I did at one point. All right, I'm gonna get the honey. Honey. Yeah. Most of the veterans in chat know that we just fucking fuck around all day. You're supposed to add some brown sugar. I think I'm gonna skip that step. There's a lot of honey in here. I over poured. All right. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay, well, we'll fucking live with it. Basically, because the, the noodles are very uh, resilient because they are made of sweet potato. These are sweet potato glass noodles. I'm just kinda, gonna kind of keep twirling and burling everybody together here to hopefully get a chance to soak up some seasoning. And then I gotta get the beef sliced up. Honeydew honey sounds fucking delicious. Alright, so. If I were gay. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're 
you look gay, you sing gay, you act gay, you talk gay, cup of coffee sliced by you gay. All right, so this is ribeye. has some nice fat running throughout it. The Staten Island Fairy Godmother. Yeah, cup of coffee, slice of pie, yay, yay. You write Staten Island Fairy Godmother. I am, in fact, a boy. Last time I checked. Uh, nice, true. I don't know why you're looking at me. I don't know, I'm looking for fucking agreement there. I could be lying, you know? I'm fucking. Yeah, I'm Looking for validation. May, the world may never know. The world may never know. And you know what? That's How okay. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center with Tootsie Pop? I don't know. I don't know, because those pops are fucking gross. I don't know where you want. This is actually a fairly nice cut. The marbling's a little strange on it, but... Knife's kind of sailing through nice and easy. You should have flexed and gotten my like goo. For no reason. I don't have money. I'm poor. <laughs> Yeah, but we're old for we figure it out. True! Well, Mark won't fucking tier 3 sub to me, even though I'm out here showing my delicious meaty thighs. Well, that's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> Believe it? I mean, to be fair, I'm not tier 3 sub yeah, You're not tier 3 <laughs> sub either. That's okay. No one is. Well, I there's a few people. I had an opportunity once to get a permanent sub. Yeah, you passed it up. I should have just overruled you and gave it to you anyway. In the long run. Next time. Yeah, next time. Uh, I only have to get to, I think, a thousand subs to unlock another permanent slot. No worries. Only almost triple what we have right now. Next time. Yeah, next time. I'll just start another Twitch account and run its partner. Some very nice marble marbling here, though. Hunter, where's Lizard? Fucking him and Lizard have it out. Why is Lizard on the floor? He just fucking hates Lizard. I'm telling you. I wish I could even like I just want to make it up to embellish the story a little bit. He does it off that. Okay. This is a different maintenance guy. Hey, look, we take the W's in this household. Alright, that was an entire ribeye steak. Cut up in strips. Pretty sad about this. I've not had an actual good cut of meat since pre pandemic, really. Just used to do like casual speaking computer Tuesdays. Yeah, that dude, I fucking the 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 fucking crash in Formula W was terrifying. Not just because it's O Rouge, like crashes happen at O Rouge, and that's part of life and part of racing at Spa. The biggest issue I had was the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth cars. Or I'm sorry, the, the third, fourth, and fifth cars that came into that crash were going the fucking wrong direction. The entire back end had kicked out on all of them. Once you are going backwards into something, you have no control. And that's the dangerous part. What's up, Bubba? No, you said something before, and I just, like, processed it and then didn't. Something about... Oh, uh, maybe. Stay so expensive. No, I was talking about in the before times. Oh, in the before times. Where we used to just get like in the strips and throw one and go for dinner. Name a time when resurfacing a track hasn't fucking caused problems. What? That's nice.
How do mine look? I did it all myself. Yeah? Yeah, but I probably missed a spot. Can you check and make sure my asshole is clean? Like, does it look, did I miss anything? Ah, shit, sorry, I forgot. I don't have a mute button out here. Anyway. <laughs> Top notch assholery. Top notch assholery. Bless you. Alright, beef marinade. What is this sweet? Rice wine! It's Mirin. And our friend Soy is here once again. Here to finish the dinners. Oh, okay. I show up there. Can you uh, mince me some garlic, por favor? Well, when you think you want to mince some garlic? Please. I'll, I'll take the ferret. Why not the kisses? I have not got kisses in days. I'm like on a kiss embargo. This is loaf. Anyway, not too crazy on the marinade here. I just need some garlic in there to help add a little bit of flavor to the party. But everybody's coated nice. <laughs> That's noodle, hi noodle. Slinky noodle dandy. I love garlic. Wash your hands before you touch any other food, obviously. Yeah. Hey, do you want to say hi to your fans? Twenty bucks to the first person that ships us a knitted chef's hat. Yeah, someone buy a chef's hat for the ferret. Or you could be on camera too. You're just an asshole. See, it's not that difficult. Can I get kisses? It's bullshit. Oh, she gave the camera kisses though. Kisses for everybody on the screen. Fat butt, though. Fat butt. Ferrets move like an amalgamation of a cat and a snake. Thus, they are cat snakes. What? I gave you more places to move. What? Okay, you're gonna come... They're half liquid, half fur. What? No, you can't go in there and you can't have the raw beef. No raw, look, have you seen your belly? Right there, right there, yeah, that's yours. You don't need no raw beef. Okay, maybe if you give me kisses, I'll let you get close to it. All right, fine, fuck you then. Mandatory noodle break. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
garlic with the beef. And then I'll have some spare garlic. There's never such thing as enough garlic, especially in this house. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start cooking shit. I have, uh, pull up my fish nets and get to work. Lean on me when it gets dark. Put some heat into this pan, and I think we go egg in and out, then veggies in and out, beef in and out, and then noodles. I need, I definitely need to boil the noodles. Glad I checked. thing I'm gonna do is fucking turn that off. <laughs> then we're gonna grab ourselves the noodle pot. So I may as well get those done first, to be honest, because they're gonna fucking take a while. This is kind of misleading. Oh, I just didn't read right. That's okay. I'll just take the leftover sauce that's left on this and just pour it into it, pour it over them when they're done. That's totally fine. Whatever. They're pre-seasoned now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with pouring pouring grease down the drain. It's legal in this state. The most important thing, honestly, is to just keep hot water running so you don't get it cooling off in the in this sink. Normally, I keep it and recycle it or whatever. I just don't have the fucking time right now. I'm also, you know, my kitchen has to undergo, like, basically massive renovations anytime I do a cooking stream, so... gonna go into overdrive on super high. Throw a little soap, a little hot water down this bad mamma jamma, and you don't have to worry about the sink backing up. Also, I live in an apartment complex. Fuck this place. That would be great, except we don't use really bottles, <laughs> like at all. There we go. 
We'll have just enough water. Anyway, we'll get the noodles boiling, and then we'll uh, make our way downtown. We'll walk fast. I'll flex for the camera. Just like that. Trust me, I would love to have an industrial grease pit in my fucking apartment complex, but this place sucks ass. Check our time. About 8, 8.15. We're on good pace. We should be done by like 9 o'clock. Do a couple rounds of golf and start seven days to die. Anyway, any questions so far? Yeah, I I had a grease container somewhere. I just don't know where it went. Speaking of college in Greece, uh, my one college roommate um, one night while drunk was cooking something and just decided to pour the hot grease into the garbage can and it melted the bag. And I was like, bro, what the fuck was that? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I just wasn't thinking. I was like, no shit. Let's see if anyone got mad and left the Discord because I pinged. Steve Jobs, fuck you, Trad. No, no one left the Discord. Wowza. Hey, by the way, if you're interested in this cooking stream and what we do, feel free. Hop into the Discord. If you want to get a say in what gets cooked, um, feel free to sub. Um, uh, outstanding fucking move, soldier. Um, but yeah, we're going to have another cooking stream in two weeks because that was one of the subs to side goals. Or uh, not subs to side the subathon goals that was met. Um, so we'll be doing the Grand Slam from Denny's with hash browns and um, meatloaf for now. If you've already voted, fucking hold off. I think I think Orion is the only one that hasn't done it. So I have to bug them when they get back from Midwest Speed Fest. Um, but September's cooking stream is open and good to go if y'all want to get on that. Ah, uh, I blew out his gearbox, that's awful.
I have a tech check with GDQ at 1 tomorrow. And I have to try and get up for the race. Nice sprites, my man! How are you, dude? We're just waiting for my fucking noodle or water to boil. Oh, well, what'd you do with the tonkatsu? Uh, okay. Just wanted to make sure it didn't, like, fucking disappear. Hey, here's an idea. Instead of dinner on Sunday, do you want to do like a brunch maybe? Not like tomorrow, but like next week. Bubbers. What? Next Sunday brunch maybe? Yeah, as opposed to dinner, like maybe a brunch instead? Yeah, I hear you, nice friends. I gotta call back into the office because my boss is a cunt. But hey, if you're looking for a professional scrum master, shoot me a DM. I can help you run your business amazingly because I am good at what I do when I'm not pressured into doing dumb shit that's inefficient and a waste of my time and energy. No, it's very specifically the near call alert. I'm just waiting for my noodles to cook. They're not even cooking yet, I just need the water to boil. <laughs> one of uh, one of my neighbors or our neighbors is a good friend of ours and, and just hit me up to see what was up. We normally go do like a monthly dinner thing. Yeah, there you go. New jobs is good. Um, I'm in the hunt too. I applied to a lot of places. I actually applied to, for the community manager role for Roll20, um, which I think would be a really interesting fit. Because um, I, they're definitely, as someone who uses that site at least once a week, I definitely have some improvements they can make. Um, and having the abilities of a scrum master as well, I definitely think there is, uh, I, you know, I might have a good shot at landing that. Because I have the social engagement, I have the community building skills, but I also have the somewhat soft background in development and understanding software development. Even though it's technically web dev. Same thing. My hands are so fucking veiny today. Look at those fucking gnarly ass veins. Alright, that is some boilage. I'm gonna pick the mushrooms out of this bad boy. Make sure I have all of the noodley bits. In they go. Six to eight minutes. It is 32 right now. Those will be done at 38 at the earliest. Woo now! Grab our spatchouli. 
boy. Give these a good spin around. Yeah, so I'll have to have to throw a little bit of seasoning back on them. That's fine. But once those are done, I can start to uh, work through the motions of the rest of this dish. Everyone that knows how to make this can laugh at me. Count is what it is. Golf. I actually turned this down. Going a little, going a little too hard there. We're going to go egg, onion, carrot, pepper, mushrooms, beef. All right. So, I am going to start putting some heat in this pan. I'm just going to fry myself an egg, basically, after I split it. Fuck storage. You know, the struggle is real, Otter, trust me. It's been fucking horrible for me for the past month, but look, month's almost over. We're gonna make it out the other side. Just keep your fucking head up. You got this shit. Um, there's leftover tonkatsu, which came out very nicely. Those will need a place to chill. Andor, get off of the fucking case! You dickhead! Gonna get some heat in that. I will separate the egg and we'll make that work. Don't worry about it, I'm a genius. Right? I thought it was a good look. It was definitely a good look today. Sometimes you gotta spice life up a bit. Those noodles are starting to look pretty fucking good. Good enough that I can't even grab one. Woo, still hot. Yep, still firm on the inside. Still a bit too firm. Yo, it's, it's going pretty good. Hey, congrats on that 237.50, by the way. Absolute monster of a run, my guy. That is rather unfortunate. Uh, it looks like the yolk on this split pretty hard. Oh no, it's a double yolk! Check it out! <laughs> it's a double yolk! It's fucking dope! Oh uh, boy. Alright, well they're gonna have to go in the same pan, just like that. Uh, 
unfortunate. Had to save it, couldn't save it. All right, these noodles are pretty much going to be done here. Yeah, what you got about eggs? Basically, the goal for this is I just do not want to fuck with these in any way, shape, or form. I just want it to be nice so I can slice them thin later. My day, wow. I wish, I wish it was fucking useful as opposed to just, I got a double yolk. Bear with me. Probably should have used a little bit of oil. That's okay. Got our egg whites. Got our egg yolks. Those noodles are gonna be over there to cool. Gonna scrape this out. Next up to the party is our onion friends. I'll catch up with chat in a second. I was supposed to use, I forgot Bubba, we were supposed to use a red red bell pepper. It's fine though. I personally don't give a shit. Yeah, I didn't really think about it either. Yep, bleached eggs versus non-bleached. Look, I am not afraid of salmonella. I am definitely afraid of trichinosis. I will never undercook pork. Salmonella sucks, trichinosis is fucking god awful. We're just going to get some color into these onions. It's pretty much the goal. Basically, you want to get them a little translucent. Not charred, just a little translucent. These are looking good. This is the color I want. Just very lightly translucent. Alright, next up, we'll do, uh, we'll do yellow peppers. Ah, some hidden onions in there. 
Alright, I'll add the onions into the party. It'll be fine. And no one will be any the wiser. Let them cook for a minute or two. So at the end, we're gonna, just going to add everything back together. You're supposed to use bowls for this. I'm just using paper plates because I don't have the time to do all the fucking dishes in the world, neither does my wife. Oh, salmon mozzarella? Oh, I love salmon mozzarella. Mm, when should you buy a new pan? Wherever the fuck you want to. I'm not your goddamn dad. Or your financial advisor. Get a cast iron pan. One will last you more than your lifetime. I haven't had Nutella in a fucking dog's ears. These, I'm gonna look for like little signs of charring, but nothing crazy. The carrots are gonna take forever, and then we got the beef afterwards. And it all goes together. Well, I gotta do mushrooms, then beef. I'm basically just gonna grab one of these. It's not hot. I want them to be nice and flimsy. Still a little bit of resistance. It needs some fucking heat. Pretty damn close, though. Another minute. You will not be, what up, Feb? You will not be a good day trader if you let your emotions get involved. Period. The end. Talk to Carrie Palmer about it. Talk to any other day trader you know. You gotta keep a level head. Can't keep your emotions in check, you're gonna fucking suck at it. All right, carrot time. then mushrooms, then beef. Then I'll probably do garlic and get all the noodles together. Once the mushrooms are in, I'm gonna throw the noodles into the, the rest of that sauce and then everything goes together. Okay, I'm gonna be super fucking real with you here. You cannot be a day trader on Robin Hood, okay? You cannot be a day trader on Robin Hood. I mean, you can, but like, you're not actually a fucking day trader. Get an actual investment account. Go through Fidelity, TD America, fucking Weeble. Can you even like play options through Robinhood? Can you do like fucking calls or puts on Robin Hood? Oh, you can? Uh, I don't fucking trust it, I don't use it. I actually have an investment account that I use. Options, honestly, are really the only way to kind of make money these days because the market's just so... Carrots are gonna take a while. Carrots take forever to cook. Yeah, dude, I, w I wish too, man. I gotta take a portion of that.
That's the only thing with fish nets, dude, is trying to, like, keep them up and in tension. Otherwise, it feels like you're wearing, like, a fucking burlap sack. This is, however, starting to get very warm in the kitchen. I need to go fart next to my wife. you say so? A little bit more on those, then we'll mushroom, then we'll beef. Mark, I'm gonna flip you like a fucking omelet. Those are on fucking scuffies? Fucking mad lad George Russell. That dude's got cock and balls the size of a fucking small principality. For those of you that weren't awake this morning for qualifying at Spa for Anchorchamp for the F1 Grand Prix, it was gnarly. It was not a good time. There'd be, there'd be someone that would be cranky. Just gonna get a nice little saute on these. Noodles are soaking up that delicious marinade. Anyway, I hope this makes at least one of you uncomfortable. Makes a great sound, too. That's what good pussies sound like for the virgins in chat. <laughs> I wish Alfina was here to yell at me and tell me to go, go away. She quits. All right, beefy weefy time. Let's go. Now, there is a lot of fat and garlic involved with these cuts of beef. I'm going to be very gentle, just going to let them do their thing. Going to get everybody sorted out in their own little space. And we're going to bring our friend the tongs back. Very gently and carefully.
What if UFOs came back into fashion? That's the real question. I know some of y'all remember those pants. Throw back to my 90s ravers. Can I get an amen break? I hope some of y'all are clipping this shit for real, for real. couple pieces of this that have some nice fat caps. I'm going to try and smolder those bad boys down. Hands are fucking tired. Then people at work ask, well, why do you use those fancy fucking keyboards? Because my fucking fingers are tired. Got a piece with a big old fat cap on this side. Sear that out. There we go. Beautiful. One other bad boy here that needs some heat on the fat. Very large chunk of semi-fried garlic and fried garlic. Definitely don't want to leave those in the pan. Still got a couple pieces of beefy beefy McWeefy left. Better than beefy McQueefy. Look, that's what they recommended. I just followed the recipe. I'm sure this would be just as fine with sirloin. Right. Let me double check the order of operations. I will literally fucking kill you, Mark. I will fight you in a goddamn parking lot. gonna stir fry these a little bit and then everybody's gonna go back into the mixing bowl hey Bubba can you do me one last favor can you slice these uh, this egg and egg yolk please into strippies 
while I finish assembling. I just need you to 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 slice that egg. You need to slice the egg. Yep, that's it. I just gotta finish the, putting all the this. Scrambled egg, that's right here. Yes, I know. It sounds stupid. Do you need the yolk and the not yolk to be separate? Whatever you want to do at this point. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just going to throw the uh, some of the beef pieces back in here just to make sure they're cooked all the way through. At least some of the bigger pieces. Okay. Thank you. That was it. This is done. Uh, hello. I ordered waffles over an hour ago, and I'm still waiting. Xbox is ship. So I see why they want the, the red bell pepper and then the green spinach as well. It's just so it looks prettier. But here we have it. Japche. Oh, well, fuck a duck. Had a second one all along. Fuck me, you idiot. Woo, that is massively hot. You can get a zoom shot here. Alright, Japche is ready, Bubbers. That had raw beef in it. I'm not gonna deal with it. Saying. Well, then you get some? Yo, what's up, Liv? Yo, Liv, thank you for the five month resub. I ain't got fucking waffles. Hi, Jeff Chan. Jeff Chan. Ribeye is also perfectly tender. some bubbers okay see how these mushrooms came out 
Mm. Flavor bombs. Criticisms of both food. Pork tongue katsu. Why you gotta be so unhealthy? And Jop Che, this is delicious, but goddamn the prep time is ridiculous. I mean, here's the deal. You can hire me as your personal chef for a place to live in 50,000 US dollars a year. I'll be on call 24 seven. I mean, to be fair, You get all this technical and culinary know-how. Right? Whew, it is smug. Smug watch, 2021. All I know is your boy sweating like a fucking hooer in church. I can see your butt when you're facing, when you're directly facing me. All right, y'all know what butt fangs are? Can we have a serious discussion about this? Uh. Now you don't know what butt fangs are, or now we can't have a discussion about this? I need clarification, trash buddy. Since you've taken the helm, fucking stealing my jokes from me in Discord. <sighs> Alright, so butt fangs. When a person is facing you directly, alright, and they're standing, you can see the curvature of the butt cheek from the front, either from the side or underneath. That is a butt fang. What am I, what am I, what am I eating? I'm gonna need another nap. I just want a little bit of noodles. Well, they're sweet potato noodles, don't forget, so they're gluten-free. They have a low glycemic index. The mushrooms, by the way, are quite delicious.
Butt fangs make the world go round, Liv. to give us like five to ten minutes to have a discussion about the food, what we want to do. Um, if you have any questions about it, now's the time. Um, after that, we're going to do some golf with your friends, um, and then we'll do seven days to die. So that means this will wrap up like 9.15, do like an hour and a half, two hours of golf, and then we and do seven days to die until I fucking pass out at the end of the morning. flavor of popsicle is lemon. Tangerine's good. I have tangerine popsicles. Good. Shelby has rock hey. yeah, I love popsicles. What the fuck do you want, bro? I want the onions. That's what I want. And I was going to say, it's just going to fucking take longer. Getting beet juice on my shoulder. I'm fucking gonna give you the roast beef juice. Gross. Ew. No sexual euphemisms in my chat room. I'm saving myself for marriage. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Any questions about the fucking food? I am not married, technically. Larry will be the first person to let you know. Oh yeah, I'm very good at making food. My fingers smell like fucking mushrooms, but that's alright. Larry's a lovable, lovable guy and he's full of shit. What you're looking for is katsu sauce.
Pikachu makes it, just buy it. It's not worth spending your time to make the sauce, I promise you. Like, it's really not worth it. See, I, I'm not a teriyaki sauce fan. I'm just like... For some reason, the words teriyaki do not excite me. They kind of like... Wall me into boredom. I don't know why. For me, it's probably because it's just like soy sauce with extra parts is how I view teriyaki. New earrings? Hell yeah. Uh. I keep white sugar around just for baking. That's it. By the way, Alfina, do you see this fucking outfit? Flatbacks are handy. I have to I have to order new jewelry for my navel at some point. Thank you. Anyway, here is our japche. Minus, uh, well, we only had yellow bell pepper, and I didn't feel like dealing with that little bit of spinach because that would have meant I would have had to make spinach dip, and then that's a whole fucking ordeal. But it's beautiful. Reconstituted some shiitake mushrooms, and boy, did that come out fabulous. Bills win seven nothing. I saw I saw Harper hit a hit a homer last night. I think that was just screaming. Yeah, I'm one of those weird people. Like my my piercings don't really heal over that super quick. Like they. The, for lack of a better term, the flesh tunnel that forms in the piercing uh, comes together rather quickly, but, like, closing over, not so much. Braves are losing to the Giants. The Phillies putting up a valiant effort. All right, we need some more tea. That's for fucking certain. I need to get my contacts out. That's the biggest thing that's draining me right now. Yes, I have a cool mug, why do you ask? Alright, we'll give y'all like two, three more minutes for questions and I'll start getting those ready. See, I don't mind getting pierced. The only weird thing I have is like, I I get adrenaline drops from it. I'm not sure why. 
I think it's probably just because I don't get pierced as much as I get tattooed, so like... Normally with tattoos, I'll get that first, like, burst of adrenaline out, but, like, then I'm still laying there in pain, so my body's like, alright, we did the right thing. This is totally cool. Uh, no, I have not. Um, but, like, with piercings, like, it's the pain, and then the adrenaline, and then there's, like, nothing else, so my body goes, like, <laughs> and then I get all lightheaded and pale and sweaty and shit. It's not that bad. You did it once, well, technically twice. You can do it again. You'll be okay. How long did it take me to cook well? Not very. I was hungry, therefore I learned to cook. Actually, I learned to cook at uh, Good Dragon Academy. Or, I'm sorry, Good Time Dragon Academy. Good Time Dragon these nuts on your face. else before I start breaking this shit down. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes to get everything break, uh, broken down and back into casual mode. Do those dishes? Shelby does the dishes 90% of the time, 95% of the time. I do 95% of the cooking. Um. Oh, all these nuts in your mouth? Take my contacts out quick. Y'all have until then to figure out the rest of your questions. Officially in casual mode. Brought out glasses. All right, tea is put away. Okay, that's the so good. Of course, I'm aware of these nuts. They're right here all the time, baby. Fucking. Yeah, a little bit of leftover. Torsion. Torsion or a grippy pad. Have someone else do it if you can't grab it yourself. 
The other thing I recommend is like, if you're gonna do it, try going opposite directions from each other. My hands are too fucking greasy right now. There we go. Do it like you mean it. Oh yeah, I have I have my phone on me. You DM'd me. Decides what to cook for this. Nah, we, she just tells me what she wants and I make it. Alright, well fuck it. It's 920. I'm gonna fucking call it, y'all. Uh...